good day everyone. Today we're going to deal with calculations related to gear box or reduction gear box. Okay, so when dealing with this uh, calculations, we're going to use this formula, which is n input divided by n output over t driven divided by t drive. N, which stands for rotational frequency, and T, which stands for number of teeth. So, okay, so let's take what we given this uh, as our gearbox, and then we say calculate the value of C, or the number of teeth of gear C. Here we have uh, gear A, B, C, D. E and F. So we have our input shaft, which is R, we have our middle shaft, which is S, and our middle shaft, which is T, and our output shaft, which is U. And then we have our input frequency, which is A, and our output frequency, which is 1. So gear A, you have 20 teeth, gear B, you have 60 teeth. Yes, C is unknown, is which we're going to calculate. And then gear D is 40 teeth. Gear E, 50 teeth. And then gear F, 60 teeth. Okay, so now they say we must calculate the number of teeth of gear C. So first of all, we'll write down our given data and then write given data and then we have our wanted wanted data uh, wanted data is number of teeth of gear number of teeth C. Yeah, C. And then our given data is that A were 20 teeth, B were 60 teeth, and so forth. So, okay, let me write it down A, 20 teeth, B, 60 teeth. And then D forty two E fifty two and then F which equals to sixty two. So this is our given data. So before we calculate or we proceed to the calculations, I want you to take note of what I'm about to say here. We must first identify the input rotational frequency and the output rotational frequency. So in this case, our input rotational frequency and input equals to A and our output rotational frequency is going to be L equals to 1. This is our output. So after identifying the input and output rotational frequency, we must identify the driven gears. The driven gears is B, D, and F. So this is we're going to mark our driven gears, which is B, B, D, 
and F. This is our region here. So now we can proceed. We can uh, arrange uh, our data according to the formula. So we're going to take uh, the what? The input, input which is A. divided by output which is one. This is going to be equal to tilt of present here over tilt of right here. In this case our driven gears is what? Uh, T B multiplied by T B multiplied by C F. So it means that the remaining gears which I didn't cycle here are dry gears. So it means that A, E, and C, which we are looking for, are dry gears. So it's going to be divided by A multiplied by T, P, T, C multiplied by T, P. This, these are drive gears. So what we need to do here is we take these numbers we replace them here. Where is the number of T and then we replace them here. T, B or T, B or T, A stands for number of T of gear A or gear B or gear D. So we're going to say A over 1 equal to T B or C E T multiplied by O T multiplied by C E T all divided by A which is 20 multiplied by C which we are looking for and then multiplied by E which is 50. So, we're going to calculate our unknown, which is C. So, we're going to proceed. So, this is going to be equal to TC is going to be equal to R. Yes, TC. This is going to be equal to 1004. It's going to be 144,000 divided by 8,000. Divided by 8,000, therefore, TC equal to 8T. This is the number of teeth of year C, which we were calculating. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.